So I gotta be honest here, looking at the list of the upcoming movies in 2024, I gotta say there's not really much that's getting me excited for movies this year. I mean, in my opinion, 2023 was a great year for movies, probably the best since 2019, I'd say. So it kind of makes sense having such a stacked year last year and then this year maybe falls off a little bit. But I think every year when we're looking at a list of the upcoming movies, there's not really much, or maybe it's only me. Like when I look at the list every year, I don't normally see a whole lot that I look forward to. And then as the movies come out, I get more excited and see more and get more excited for the movies. But as of right now, looking at this list, I don't, I wouldn't say there's too much that I'm looking forward to this year, but in no particular order, here are some of my most anticipated movies for 2024. At the end of the year, let's see if even like two of these make my top 10 favorite movies of the year. First up, I'll say Argyle. Now, this movie just based on the trailer alone looks like a it's so bad, it's good movie. And you know, if it's a really fun popcorn spy movie, I'll have no problem with it because at least I'm having a good time in the movie theater. Matthew Vaughn is directing this movie and he's the director of the Kingsman franchise. So hopefully this movie will have some insane action like those movies. The cast is also just insane. You got Henry Cavill, Samuel L. Jackson, John Cena, and Brian Cranston. I mean, I'll see any movie that Walter White's in. Next up, we have Mickey 17. I really don't know anything about this film besides that Oscar winning director Bong Joon Ho is directing this film. He's the director of Parasite, which won Best Picture a few years ago. And of course, it stars Robert Pattinson, who's been killing it the past few years. So I'm sold already, even if I don't know what this movie's even about. Like, I don't think anybody really knows what this movie's about. They released like a 30 second teaser trailer for it and it didn't show anything besides like Robert Pattinson and like some tube. I don't even remember what he was in, but because of the director and the star, I'm excited for it. Next up is Challengers. The trailer that broke the internet and possibly Tom Holland's soul. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued and very interested in this story just based on that trailer alone. Also, tennis movies always seem to please me like King Richard, which I really did enjoy. Also, it's got Zendaya as the star of the movie, so like that's a must see already. Next up, we have The Fall Guy. This movie starring Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, who just had a monster year in 2023 with Oppenheimer and Barbie. Once again, this looks like another fun action movie. I really enjoyed goofy Ryan Gosling in the Barbie movie, and it looks like that's what we're gonna get with him here, but with some action scenes. I don't know, just looks like a goofy, fun movie. Like another popcorn movie that, you know, maybe won't be great, but it'll be a fun time and worth watching in the theater. Next up, we have Inside Out 2. The first movie literally broke me as a child. I'm pretty sure it's like the first movie that really made me cry. So do it again, Pixar. Just make an even better movie than the first or even a lot on the same line as that. I don't know if this sequel is really necessary, but Pixar needs a win. I'm down to see these characters in the story again. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Next up, we have the Bob Marley biopic, Bob Marley One Love. I'm a big Bob Marley fan, I'm always listening to his music, but I don't know too much about his personal life and I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Kingsley ben Adir was by far the best part or the only good part of the Secret Invasion show, so I'm excited to see him play Bob Marley. Overall, I'm just excited to vibe out to Bob Marley music in the theater. That's really what I'm mostly looking forward to in this movie. Also, the trailers make it seem like it's a really compelling and intense and interesting story about Bob Marley's life and what he did not only with his music career, but with his personal life. Next up, we have Civil War, a modern American Civil War movie that has nothing to do with Captain America. This is a political war drama coming out during election year, which should be interesting. I hope this movie isn't just a big message, you know, telling you who you should vote for. I hope it's strictly its own story, trying to be its own movie and not really a mirror version of our world. I think if it does that, it should be a pretty good movie. A24 doesn't usually do action movies, so I am interested in this. And also Jesse Plemons is in this. And based on that scene alone with him in the trailer, I'm already hooked. I'm like, this is the perfect movie for him. I'm excited for the whole cast. It's got Nick Offerman, Kristen Dunst, and a few more, which I'm excited to see in this film. Next up, we have Joker Filet Edu. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Definitely not, probably, but nonetheless, I'm still excited for the sequel to the Joker. The first Joker is incredible, and I'm not 100% on board for them making this sequel. And it's a musical, so that's new but it's got lady gaga who's playing harley quinn and i think she's a great actress i thought she was phenomenal in a star is born and everyone and their mother knows she's one of the best singers possibly of all time also i feel like joaquin phoenix wouldn't have done this movie 
if the script wasn't good so i still do have some hope for this movie even if i do think it's kind of unnecessary but if joaquin phoenix and todd phillips are both on board with this movie then so am i and finally probably my most anticipated film of the year is deadpool 3. i mean how can you not have this on your list just look at those set photos that have been leaked it's the only mcu movie coming out this year which i think is a great thing because there's just been too much MCU failures and Deadpool, I don't think it will fail. It's gonna be Deadpool just traveling around the multiverse it looks like and trash talking studios. So this should just be a fun watch like all the Deadpool movies. Not to mention Hugh Jackman is back as Wolverine. I mean, it could be the worst movie ever and I'd still go see Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine. He's just so good. There's also gonna be a ton of cool cameos and great moments. Just hope Disney doesn't screw this one up. So yeah, those are my most anticipated movies of the year. I know it doesn't sound like I'm too excited because to be honest, I'm not really. But like I said earlier in the video, as the year goes on, I get more and more excited for these movies and I find out more movies that I haven't even heard about right now as the year goes on. And those end up being, you know, all my favorite movies of the year, those independent films. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below your guys, what you guys are looking forward to the most this year, what movies, what TV shows. Let me know anything in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys later.